So I'm going to start with our story and where to start. Um, I suppose the beginning for us came like all good stories, and the setting for our first impression arrived following an intro from a mutual friend, which resulted in two months of texting and a few drop pins to prove that we weren't lying when we said we were on holiday. It came outside of the Sainsbury's at Old Street. A bar crawl followed, and two things stand out in the memory from that first night. The first, your drink of choice throughout the evening was a pint of cider. I mean, what an enigma weird kind of American accent but from Hong Kong. Graceful, dressed head to ankle in black, leopard print shoes and knocks back Scrumpy Jay like a middle-aged man from Somerset. <laughs> true, true. The second is a laughing. We didn't stop. The infectious committed gaggle that I now hear every day was out in force that night and it's fair to say that I've been hooked ever since. You took my breath away when I saw you in the bedecking room earlier. I cannot begin to describe the unbridled joy I feel to be able to call you my wife. You centre me, you focus me, you make me want to be the best possible version of myself. You are, quite simply, the most breathtaking person inside and out that I could wish to meet. And whilst life can be hard sometimes, I can say without any hesitation that falling in love with you will be by far the easiest thing that I'll ever do. Judaism teaches that your first home together is under this chuppah. The open sides show the importance of being open with each other. And the roof is just the first floor, meaning you have unlimited potential when you support one another. Let me remind you, David, of some of the beautiful words in response to my question. You said to me, how was your life before you had committed yourself to Tash? You wrote of your light bulb a moment. It was after you'd popped the question. And you said, I only learned the true meaning of so many things when Tash looked at me, responding to the question and said, are you sure? <laughs> you said, I didn't know it, but for nearly 30 years, that my life would not start really until that moment when Tash agreed to be my wife. It's Tash that centers me, you said, challenges me, respects me, and everything in between. She is quite simply the most amazing partner a man could wish for. And Tash, in response, she wrote, when David and I were set up, even before we first met in person, we were already like old friends. There was no awkwardness, no false impressions trying to be made, just playful and genuine, easygoing connection that never felt forced. And by the time we met for the first time, it really felt like we were old friends catching up. And our relationship going forward remains just as easy. You wrote, being with DK is like listening to your favourite song on repeat and never getting bored by it. <laughs> it gets better and better every time you listen. 
David has elevated my life. I knew when I met him that I would never be lonely again. He makes me feel smart, secure, and unstoppable, and goes the extra mile of encouraging and helping me achieve things that to most would seem completely wacky and out of my reach. Nothing scares or worries me anymore, because he's the best partner in everything and anything. Now, perhaps your biggest passion, and the thing which I can listen to talk all day about, is your home, Hong Kong, and your affectious love for the city, has certainly rubbed off on me, Darwin. It's the reason why I felt so strongly about proposing to you on top of the peak, all those months ago, hangover between the ears, and the whole of the city ahead of us, as it meant that actually, you and I are both now tied to Hong Kong in a special way. It's a place where you agreed to be my wife, and whilst the term the peak implies the end of something or the summit, it fills me with so much excitement to know that in our case, we're actually right at the beginning of our journey. into why that is, it always comes back to one thing, because you made it that way. Ladies and gentlemen, could you please charge your glasses, Tash, raise that pint of cider, and join me in toasting my wife, the beautiful bride, Mrs. Natalia. Thank you. 